morning, all souls. It's Monday, and I hope you had a lovely Thanksgiving holiday weekend. I know I counted all of you as true blessings in my life, and you are what makes all souls so special. Yesterday was the first Sunday of Advent. We are in a new season in the church. It's a time for preparation and waiting for the birth of baby Jesus. We also wait for Jesus Christ to come again, so we light the first candle of our Advent wreath to symbolize the hope we have in anticipation of the coming Messiah. Today is also the feast day of St. Andrew, a fisherman and one of the 12 apostles. So let's start today taking a deep breath, thinking of all the blessings in our lives, starting in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, we eagerly await the birth of your Son, Jesus, with a hopeful heart. Help us to stay awake and alert to your presence in our lives. And may we see Jesus in one another this Advent season. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us on to temptation, but the Lord is from evil. Amen. Lay him over your heart, I pledge allegiance to your flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. And we have some birthdays to celebrate. I forgot to celebrate Miss Rivas's birthday on November 21st, and Miss Munoz's birthday on November 25th. So Miss Rivas, our wonderful first and second grade uh, English teacher, happy birthday, and Miss Munoz, our awesome kinder Spanish teacher, happy belated birthday. Today is Lily Scott's birthday in second Spanish. Lily, we're sending you big hugs, virtual high fives. Have a great day. Woman